guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto finance or the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now today, yes, I am back. It is a very short video today. Going to go over the news quickly uh, because I've got to go to the uh, AFL football tonight here in Melbourne. It's going to be absolutely incredible. So I just wanted to get a video update in with everybody. The market is all over the place. Bitcoin has crashed and I'm still continuing to dollar cost average into my favorite assets. But let's get into the news. I don't want to waste any more time with this. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification because I love doing these videos every single day, documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. It is going to get pretty insane in this space. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, it would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. So make sure you give it a good thumbs up. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff, right? I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that in the blink of an eye in crypto. So be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Right, let's get into the news. I'm just going to point the phone camera because I'm rushing at the moment to the news. Let's get into it, Bull. All right, so just getting into it right now, going down to the community tab. I put a few things up today. Uh, we've got top altcoins in my portfolio, Kin, Electronium, Telcoin, Immutable X, and VTHO. Some really, really nice gems right here. Now, this is wild. BlackRock literally expecting the next wave of Bitcoin ETF buyers to include large institutions like sovereign wealth funds and pension funds. This is massive. Okay, this is going to open up the floodgates, literally. And the asset manager has been helping educate pension funds, endowments, and sovereign wealth funds about the new spot Bitcoin ETF products, BlackRock's head of digital assets said. That is extremely bullish. I did put up this today as well. Who is buying the dip? 66% of you have said yes, because yes, we are in a dip. And uh, this is wild, but we've had a lot of outflows. Fidelity selling 3,000 Bitcoin, GBTC, Grayscale, of course, 2,900. ARK Invest selling 1,700 and BlackRock selling 600 right here. And again, this is why the market has completely dropped. Having a quick look at coin market cap, I'm on the uh, normal white screen. We've got a total market cap right here of 2.22 trillion. It is up 2.79% today which is really nice. Volumes at $71 billion. Bitcoin sitting at $59,366 and Ethereum's at $2,988. Solana, uh, again, I'm still incredibly bullish on it, $138. And of course, XRP at 52 cents is an absolute gem. Having a quick look at the news, we've got XRP to replace the dollar. Crypto pundit predicts major role in Ripple's XRP ledger in Japan. That is definitely true right? So we've got Jack Straw has ignited a debate. Yes, of course, there's always debate in the community, but the partnership aims to offer supply chain, uh, supply chain finance solutions powered by the XRP Ledger blockchain with backing of Japanese financial giant SBI Group. If you've been noticing on the news as well, the uh, Japanese yen has literally been collapsing and uh, it hasn't been this week since like the early 90s which is wild. And look at this, the hash key DEX or DX marks a strategic move to tap into Japan's supply chain finance market, which is experiencing rapid growth. And a recent research report suggests that the blockchain's role in supply chain finance is set to surge from $360 million to $13.4 billion by 2030. Utility is absolute king. Solana, again, is doing quite nicely as well. I mean, I just checked the price here and it was $139. There is a lot of meme coins uh, with Solana as well. So Solana-based meme coins, which have boosted activity on the platform, have been the influence in the rise of Solana's decentralized finance sector. With the data showing Solana investment products have been seeing significant inflows, uh, again, amid the market turndown. So a lot of people are buying meme coins still. And the total value locked in the decentralized finance protocols within the Solana network has risen by $3.78 billion uh, from a little over $200 million at the beginning of last year from around $1.3 billion. So 
Solana for me anyway, guys, is, is not only just for the meme coins, I'm not interested in those, but full-blown utility, especially with Visa. And yes, Bitcoin is trading around 57K today. What are we at the moment? I just read that before. Yeah, 59. So we're up and uh, is down 6.3%. And having dropped below the $60,000 support level on Tuesday, I mean, this has all got to do with a lot of the, obviously, the Fed, uh, you know, the whole interest rates thing there in the United States, it's having an effect on all financial markets, to be honest with you. I'm not even worried about that. Um, however, I'm still dollar cost averaging because we're just getting started in this bull market. I'm not worried, but the outflows are what uh, is basically crashing the market. That's really what it is. And yes, Bitcoin longs erase $100 million in one day. Uh, and uh, you've got to be careful of leverage positions. And this is why I'm using very little leverage on my Bybit bots as well. Uh, again, 5x is enough at the moment. And I'm just waiting for the market to stabilize because there's no point going too crazy. Yes, let's get quickly to X. Thank you to those 6,395 people. You guys absolutely rock. And for those of you who are watching at the moment, you rock also. Johnny Dean, absolute legend. $570 billion French bank BNB Paribas reports owning BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF. Very, very nice. We've got US lawmakers using the SEC or urging them uh, to approve options on the US Bitcoin ETFs. Normally, these are approved days after spot ETF. He's not going to do it. Look at him. Just look at him. <laughs> it's not going to happen for a while. Uh, this is an interesting video. I put a, a short up on my YouTube channel about this. Again, $50 million transferred literally in two seconds for 30 cents. And you think that banks... That is it for today, Bulls. Just a quick little update on the news and what's going on in the markets. Again, I'm still incredibly bullish and dollar cost averaging as always. And if you haven't joined the Wall Street Bull, go and do that. The link is below. I'll see everyone tomorrow. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. Have a good night. Peace. Bye.